Welcome back to Sumo Bundle, your go-to source for digital design hacks and tools. In today's episode, we're diving into an exciting breakthrough in AI-driven design. It's called ReCraft, and it's a game changer for anyone needing scalable vector graphics. Whether you're a professional designer or a hobbyist, you're going to want to see this. Let's get started. The interface is slick and very intuitive. You have the choice between creating a regular image or a vector. Simply click on the Vector Image button or press C on your keyboard. You'll see a square box appear on the canvas. If you want, you can change the aspect ratio by moving the slider. For now, I'll use a square size. At the top, there are only a few buttons. Move Tool, New Vector Image, New Raster Image, and New Image Set. This one is very cool. At the end of this tutorial, I'll show you how you can create consistent icons or even vector files with the same style. The next buttons are Frame, Text, Hand, and the last one is Import Image, which allows you to upload your own image that you can edit or enhance. Let's start simple with a vector image of a lion. In the prompt area, I will type Lion Head Portrait. From the left side, you can choose a style. As you can see, there are a lot of options, and for this tutorial, I will choose Vector Art. I will click on the Recraft button and wait a few seconds. You will find two versions of the lion at the bottom of the screen. Please choose the one you like. Then, in the top area, you will have new buttons, which are very useful. In my case, I do not want to make any modifications. But if you want, you have a few options. Modify area. You can modify the image by adding or changing the selected region with text. Draw a selection, write the description of the changed area, and click on Recraft. Erase. Remove unwanted elements by selecting them with the Lasso tool and then clicking the Delete button. Change background. This button will auto-select the background. And if you want to add a new background, then you have to use the Prompt Text area. Another option for you is to remove background. Right-click on the image and select Remove Background. This one is very useful and works very well. I recommend using it if you save the files as SVG. Let's move to the next button, Color Count. This one is very useful if you want to limit the number of colors present in your design. The next button is Rasterize, which is not important for me right now, as I want to have a vector image, not a raster one. Recolor is the next button. You can change your colors if you want, with some pre-built color palettes. In my case, I will leave the lion as it is because I like it. And the last button is Enhance Detail, which will upscale the image and add new details to it. I like how the lion looks by default, and I will not make any modifications. Now, I will download the lion as an SVG by clicking on the Export button from the top right side, then choose the SVG button. Now. Let's dive into creating a set of icons with consistent style, perfect for vector icons. On the same canvas, I'll click on the New Image Set button. From the Style Selection area, I'll choose the Icon Style. Then, I'll click on the Settings to customize your style. Whether you need simple UI icons or more detailed illustrations for website designs, this tool is equipped to handle it all. For this tutorial, I'm sticking with the default settings to keep things straightforward. However, in a future video, I'll show you how to create and customize your own styles for vectors and icons. Make sure you subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on these amazing features. Now, let's start creating our set of icons. On the left side, there are six prompt areas. I will fill them with the following icons. Rocket, Dog, Magnifier. Gift, Download, Market. After filling these in, I'll click the Recraft button. Please take a moment to look at these impressive results. If you want to experiment with different aesthetics, you can change the styles immediately by selecting another style. Then click the Recraft button again and wait a few seconds. I think the results are spectacular and showcase the versatility of this tool. These icons can enhance any project, providing a visually cohesive and professional look. This tool is not just powerful, it's also incredibly efficient. 
for digital creators who juggle multiple projects. Maintaining a consistent style across all visuals can be a hassle. Recraft AI simplifies this process, making it possible to generate and customize graphics at the click of a button. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. It helps more than you know. Don't forget to subscribe and share our content. It's a big boost for our small channel. Your support allows us to keep bringing you great tutorials. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.